Hi everybody and welcome. It's Jenny B from Jenny B Studios where we get to draw, paint, create and talk about art. So if you enjoy watching or you enjoy painting, come and join us. Today I'm painting in acrylic and I'm painting sunflowers. Uh, just laying in the first wash here which is just a mixture of paint with a little bit of water not so much water that it drips but not so much paint that it's too thick only want a nice light what we call wash on the canvas at this stage now the board that I'm painting on is a canvas board which has had three coats of gesso and that often really helps with the whole um, flow of acrylics As I paint, nice big bold strokes go in. I just keep that paint flowing. And I tend to sketch as I paint. Now, originally I did put down some uh, chalk lines, which um, look not a detailed drawing by any means. Just some chalk lines. I do a lot of corrective painting as I paint. Guys, I want to give a, a big, big hug and thank you um, to those who are supporting the channel and I really hope you do join us. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook and I have a website www.jenny with an I B studios now for my next layer of paint I actually come in with a little bit more paint a lot less water now if you add too much water to acrylic it will actually um, break down the paint here I'm coming in with a cad yellow so the colors I used were a burnt sienna, cad yellow, um, patholo red, ultramarine blue and burnt umber and of course titanium white See, I'm just marking in the shadows of the flowers as I go. Only certain flowers will, will receive the most amount of light. Now, if you're painting um, from real life, which is what I was doing here, with flowers, it's always the best idea is to set your flowers up, let them settle. And, you know, go and set up your palette the palette I use is a wet palette. Um, I just put down some kitchen sponges at the bottom and a little bit of um, baking paper on top. I take out all the, I put some water on the, the sponges and I take out all the excess water and I again, I just let that sit. The petals I'm pulling even in this this early stage so I do tend to pull them because I'm using a, um, the brush strokes that I'm using means that I'm pulling the the petal shapes from the center out now on occasion I'll actually go reverse so it does depend a bit on the petal shaping in the leaves So how are you all today? Look, if there's anything you'd like to see me paint, please pop it in the comments box below or, you know, give me a shout out on Instagram. Now 
Yeah, it was interesting the other day um, when someone told me my uh, that painting was now redundant. I've heard a lot of things about paintings and artists, but I've never heard that any. So I'm just wondering what your thoughts are. Are paintings now redundant? Is my work redundant? Is your work redundant? It'll be interesting to hear what you've got to say on the subject. As I come through, um, it does look like I've sort of put a big black hole over all those, um, the centre of the flowers. I haven't. Um, it's a burnt umber and um, sienna mix. And I'm just coming in thicker because remember the wash underneath is only very light. So you can see the paint that I'm adding here is actually quite, uh, is a lot thicker. I don't, um, don't use any mediums really. Um, I have tried a few and I'll probably try more mediums as well. But, you know, look, I was quite happy with this, how this painting came out and, you know, the overall end effect. Here I'm just adding where the lights touch the, the centre of the flowers. As I paint I tend to adjust constantly. I think that's one of the wonderful things about being creative, you know, we have to learn to think of solutions. We're very solution driven. In this demonstration I've if you look on the um, left, you can see that flower that's sitting on the side and you can see all the definition forming. And that's purely through putting in my darks, my lights and forming those layers. I decided that the painting was a bit boring, so I raced out into my garden and got myself some gardenias, just the little tiny ones, and I decided to pop those in. So I start with an overall colour which is just a warm grey. And that forms all the petals. As I go to the next stage, adding a bit more of the light. Now this will be more of a mid-tone. And yet here on this flower that it would be the main tone. And that's purely because of where they sit. Whether they're turning away from the light or turning towards the light. Often you see my brush pause while I'm painting and that's literally showing you how my brain is thinking. As we go through I'm just popping in more lights so in some area the light will be warm and in some area the light will be cool and doesn't it look magical once you start to put those lights on but those lights wouldn't work if I didn't have the right tone to start through
So yeah, returning back to our conversation, what do you think guys, is my work redundant? I thought it was a um, quite an interesting conversation because um, you know art, art has been around for the beginning of time. A bit disheartening to find out that your work is redundant. What does it mean anyway? Like, I thought it was an interesting comment for someone to make. Now, obviously, at this exhibition, the person who made these comments um, didn't buy anything. Um, so, yeah. You never know whether to take that stuff to heart. Will it stop me from painting? No. Now you can see the difference when I go to put in the lightest light of the flowers. So down here on the right you can see that just putting in the, the very tip of, of where light is reflecting onto the flower. And it's really hard because, you know, this I think is the most sensitive part of any painting. It's you know, you just want to put even more light on and more light on and of course that detracts from the flower itself if you did. You need that a little bit of contrast, I think anyway. By the time I've reached this stage, my paint is a lot thicker. And I do often find with acrylic, um, I let it sit for a while and then, you know, I may have to come back to reapply. It sort of seems to sink a bit. just adjusting the tones within those flowers so that you can see um, the effect of having both the warm and the cooler greys. guys I'll just let you know if you if you want to see more from the channel if there's anything you'd like to see me paint 
please feel free to sing out if you have any questions I'm more than happy to help I just dropped the brush there so you can see how light I'm holding the brush that it was so easy to drop you know Don't forget to like and subscribe. So if you uh, want to see more paintings, just hit that subscribe button, ring that bell notification, and then you'll know when I'm uploading. I do try to um, upload on Thursdays. And for those of you who are returning, um, yeah, I improved my camera. I'm not a I'm not a videographer, so I'm learning all the time, which is the wonderful thing about art. The wonderful thing about acrylics is if you do do lose some of those tones, it's a really nice, quick, easy fix. You can see me just popping in the, or bringing more definition to some of the leaves. Watch the magic happen as we pull some of the leaves out of the pile of, of green. I also want you to take note of the shapes of all the petals in the flowers themselves. So varied. And that in itself looks by far more natural than if I just drew the traditional um, flower shape or if I only popped in one particular shape of petal and it's the same with the leaves because I've got two species of flowers I've got two different types of leaves. Sorry, there's a little bird outside my my window here. Just serenading us as we go. And that'll do it for us today. So thank you so much for joining me. My name's Jenny B from Jenny B Studios. I hope you join us again. If there's anything you'd like to see, please let me know.
don't forget to like and subscribe. That's Jenny B from Jenny B Studios. Bye.